Well, we came to Guatemala two years ago because of my husband's ministry at a seminary called Seteca, where um, students from 22 Latin American countries come to be prepared to do ministry. And we looked through a website for schools for my two teenage boys. And we saw CAG as one of the school for MKs. So we looked on their website and we came to visit. And my husband and I came to um, do a little visitation and try to decide, okay, which school should we need to send our boys? We had few schools in mind, but after coming to Christian Academy of Guatemala, meeting with the principal, the administrators, and seeing the school, we decided that this is the place for my boys. For the last two years, I have taught fourth grade, core teacher, which covers all the basic subjects, um, excluding the enrichment classes. Uh, which was perfect position for me because in the States, I've taught in a public school, fourth grade, for 21 years. And I just felt like God had this position prepared for me. And um, I've been teaching um, fourth grade since then. Coming from public school, I see a huge difference with the education value and mission here. Because in public school, it was mainly to get the information for the, to the children and just prepare for the next level of education. But here at CAG, I see I have a more of a whole being, not just the education, but for their spiritual mentality, their heart, and their vision is different. I see the difference with my boys because they're a product of public school education before we came down here. At school, you know, we're not allowed to pray. We're not allowed to mention the word God. It was completely excluded from the education part. But here, you know, we try to teach the children that you cannot exclude God from anything of our life, that He is the central and in integral part of our whole well-being. And I know at CAG, we try to not enforce, but help the children open their mind little by little as they get older to see that you cannot live separately. God at church and, God, and separate from school, it is one whole picture. And we hope to um, have them the vision of including that God is part of your life from now until we die. So, and I see that we try really hard at CAG to, um, to incorporate that with the children. That it's not just learning the facts and then separate God from the Bible. It, is, it goes together hand in hand. We have many missionary families here, and that is the, the reason why this school started, for the missionary, because I know in other parts of the world, many missionaries send their kids to boarding school, or they leave the field because they don't have the education facility for their children. Here I see the missionary families able to um, trust the school to equip the children for the education and the spiritual well-being so that many families can do the ministry. Even for our family, my husband is a professor at Seteca, and we are here with the comfort of knowing that my two boys are getting their education and they are um, being challenged spiritually, academically, and mentally. Discipleship here means um, not just saying the talk and telling the kids what they need to do, but it is showing with our life. Here, the teachers are a very important part of um, students' education, not just during eight to three school hours, but afterwards, on Wednesday nights, on youth nights, on weekends. And it is just living the life together, which was a little difficult for me coming from public education because in public school, teacher, our life was separate from the students. We didn't want to get too involved with their personal life, but here, it's just all centered together. So discipleship here is showing the children how to live as Jesus did. And we make mistakes, and even through those mistakes, we teach the children it's okay to make a mistake as long as you have the right mentality and go from there. And you know, God will pick you up. And God will guide you step by step. Well, there are many different ways to get involved with CAG or uh, a ministry like this by, first of all, come. We need teachers. Um, because all the teachers here are uh, missionaries, um, it's hard to recruit teachers to come to Guatemala, especially in the upper level. I have two teenage boys, one in high school and in middle school, and I know we're always seeking for teachers in the higher level education. And so we need teachers qualified and the teachers with a heart to um, get involved with missionary kids and their education. Second, if you cannot come, please pray. 
we need lots of prayer. Um, sometimes they think, oh, MKs, missionary kids, and missionaries are fine. But it is sometimes, it's great here, but it gets lonely. We're away from family, we're away from friends, our familiar surrounding. We've only been here two years and everything is still kind of new for us. Learning the language, learning the culture. So there's a lot that may not be mentioned, but we need prayers. We need fervent prayers. Um, and then there, we need um, monetary support. Compare, our CAG compared to Guatemalan school system is wonderful. But when you compare to other international schools here in Guatemala, there are a lot of things we lack in the classroom, uh, in the technology, in just many different areas. In the fine arts department, we are short on a lot of equipments and tools that cannot be purchased or provided with the tuition that we receive from students. So if you cannot come and you would like to be part of this ministry, the um, one way is to support us monetary. God gave me a vision for teaching many years ago. I started teaching Sunday school at 16 and I went into the education because I wanted to make a difference with uh, children's life. Before I came here, I taught in a Title I school where a lot of children did not have the support at home. And I wanted to be that one person who is consistent for their life. So I um, wanted to make an impact on somehow for the children's life. And I think God has prepared me to continue in that field that I can make a difference. And also, I'm a, what you call, Korean American. I was born in Korea. I left my country when I was seven years old. So I have both culture background. Um, I'm what they call 1.5 generation because I'm not really fully Korean. I'm not really fully American. I'm kind of like in the middle. And I feel like even here at the school with so many um, Korean families, which surprised us when we came here, God is helping me to be a mediator between two cultures. Because unlike my family, most of the Korean families here come from Korea, not United States. So they have a different culture and different background, different expectation. And um, so I think God somehow has prepared me to be here so that I can help both cultures. And, and that's what I would like to do. Not to be up in the front, but to be in the mediator to help both cultures, both generations. And with the, I don't know if you call it gift or talent, but God has given me the vision to work with children. We first came to Guatemala because God gave my husband and myself vision to prepare the leaders of this country, not just Guatemala, but Latin America. Because before, missionaries were coming and just giving, giving, giving. But now it's time for missionaries to come and prepare the leaders. And that's why we came to Sedeca, because they have students from 22 countries, even from Spain, who are here to study, to be prepared. And now they have students going to mission field, going to the Middle East. Um, I don't know if you knew, but Latin American, the culture, and the Middle East culture have many, many similarities. So they are more prepared to go out and reach the Muslims than Asians or Caucasians. So now we have students from Sedeca going to the, um, the Muslims and preparing to reach out to them. So I believe, you know, God has given us this, this vision and we're just happy that we're able to be part of his work so that we could continue to equip the leaders of Guatemala so that it is not just receiving it, but now they're at the end where they are going out, they are going out to the world and being part of the world mission. And we're just glad that we are part of his ministry here.